Welcome, Ms. Mel. <laughs> Yeah, these ladies, we're just a vessel in which you're going to get today. You're going to be blessed beyond our stories, I guarantee you. So, this panel is called Hurt People, Heal People. And before we get started, the two people like to tell me what intention you just said. I'll be shy. Yeah, I'm behind you, can you? So, I intention. Can you got the mic for you, beautiful? I want to hear you. Thank you. Um, my name, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Libra Hicks is my name. Hi, Libra. Hi. Um, my intention for today is to leave a more calm or understanding person. That way, what others feel, I'll take it personal because it's a human experience. Amen. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Share. Do I have anyone else that wants to share their intentions with me? And then this one right behind you, too. Go ahead. Hi, I'm Angel Yasmin. I'm so happy to be here. I wasn't going to speak, but I really think it's important, and I'm just glad that you're doing this. You're taking a torch and making it aware in our African American community, especially among women, because it's very important. Because sometimes we keep secrets, and then we keep secrets about ourselves and our own demons that are inside. We act out, we lash out, and like you said, we don't know where it comes from. So we just want—I I wanted to come and just be more aware of that and be more careful on how we treat people, you know, in our relationships. Because you know what, we matter. And a lot of the black women, we want to hate on each other, we don't want to come together. I'm not that girl. But you know, a lot of people don't want to work with you because they have these things and that and the other. But we need to come together and we all need to understand each other, be kind and love each other and come together. This just be more weird. Let's do the claim and then I'll pick the word. I'm from Baltimore, Graciela Blackstone, but I'm in school with this Nama Daku Mansa, Queen of Development for Ghana. I'm here because personally, my struggles and things were brought to the attention of Melanie's beautiful insight of people and her blessings. And 